I want to know what, why we do it, and how we do it. So plus our universal protocol and the principles behind the procedure. So what is blood pressure? Force of the blood into the arterial wall. Okay? So it is the force of the blood. So we have two numbers to remember. What are those numbers? Systolic and diastolic. Systolic is the first loud sound, which is, it happens when there is contraction of the heart. So, diastolic is the last loud sound you will hear, and that will be during the relaxation of the heart. Okay, so we have two. What is the normal blood pressure? Okay, so we must also memorize what are the normal range. Because you cannot identify the normal from the abnormal if you do not know the normal, right? It depends on? Those are the principles. Okay? The blood pressure does not depend on the last pressure history of the patient. Blood pressure, we are talking about 120 over 80. That is milligrams. Okay? There is no milliliter. Milliliter is fixed with the fluid. How much is the fluid? Okay? So if it is below the uh, diastolic or below the normal, what we can call it? What will be the medical term? Hypotension. Hypo means low. Tension means the, the uh, blood pressure. So if it is more than 130, 140, so what we call it? What? Hypertension. Hypertension. Okay, so we have the hypo and we have hypertension. Now, what should be the principles while taking or what needs to be remembered to check before taking the blood pressure? So those are the principles. One. Those are the universal protocol. So what did you say? Asking the patient the previous history. Okay. So at first, when you encounter the patient, you should take, you should let the patient to take rest for five minutes. Okay. Second, you ask the patient to sit properly, both feet on the floor, level on the floor. Next, when the patient is sitting, you have to check the arm of the patient should be at the level of the heart. So when the patient is sitting, it should be on the level or while lying, the same patient is lying with the level of the heart. The same thing when the patient is standing. Okay? So anywhere in our body, there are the pulse points. Where is the pulse, pulse points that we use for taking the blood pressure? The brachial artery. If in case the patient loses the arm, patient will be taking blood pressure in the thigh or in the leg. Where are you going to put your stethoscope? You can take the blood pressure in apical. Huh? If the patient already have no upper limbs 
only the remaining is the leg. So where you will take your blood pressure, where should be? You can take the femoral. If your blood pressure cut is here, you will take the femoral. Very good. Okay. So, when you are going to take on the upper thigh, so take it from complete child. If you will take on the lower leg, so take it either on posterior. Okay? Posterior tibialis. Okay, now, what else? What else our principles? Okay? As she said, so once the patient is seated, ask the patient for the past history of blood pressure. So you will ask, ma'am, how was your blood pressure from previous or from the past? You do not ask how much is your blood pressure. Of course, the patient is not selling, number one. Okay? So you'd better ask, how was your history of blood pressure? Okay? So once you know it, so if, yeah, for example, it is 120 over 80, so we have to rise up, up to 30 to 50. So 120, if the patient doesn't know, so we will go with the normal, 120 over 80. In 120 over 80, which the patient doesn't know, add 30. So your blood pressure, you have to inflate it, the gauge, to 150. But if the patient said my BP is 150 over 90, so go up to 30, 180. 50, 60, 70, 80. Okay? You got it? Okay. Now, how we are going to check our medical equipment? What medical equipment do we need to use for taking the blood pressure? Stethoscope. Stethoscope and? Huh? Take out your blood pressure. Where is your blood pressure kit? You the part of the stethoscope, right? Huh? What is this? Earpiece. Earpiece. This one? Ear tube. Is this tube? Tube. Tube. Arm? It is the arm. This one? The tube. Cable. Okay, so wire or cable. A wire. And this one? Diaphragm. Diaphragm. Where is the bell? <laughs> Sometimes you do not say if you are not sure. Okay? So in, as far as I know, we have the law. In the nursing law, if you do something, that will cause a patient any harm, will give you consequence. Okay? Number one is negligence. And there is no excuse in negligence. Negligence, as common term, is, is stupidity. Why? Because you are studying, right? And you are learning. And you did a mistake. So, that is negligence and stupidity. Okay? That's why be very careful. Whatever you say, it will be ground against you. In my, uh, you have to remember that you are going to deal with a lie. Not a doll. It's an alive patient. So anything that the patient can cause harm will be your consequence. Okay? That's why it is not just easy. We will take the blood pressure. It must be accurate. Because once you take the blood pressure, you talk to the patient about the result, 
and the result she could not believe of the result there must be something okay never never utter or say anything to your patient again the principle never never tell your patient the you direct your patient to your nurse. You remember that there is a nurse over you. So don't take anything in your head. Go with the nurse. If the patient will ask you, tell the nurse, uh, tell the patient, you ask the nurse. She is going to explain it. Or better, if the doctor is available, tell the doctor, ask the doctor. The doctor will you do, you do not be so arrogant to say, Ah, oh, ma'am, this is 120. No. Okay? You have to, you have to check everything is accurate. Second, I mean, what else? We have done so many principles. How many did we mention? Principles. You talk louder than it. Uh, principal, ask the patient to take rest for five minutes. Keep the patient properly on the level of the floor. In the level on the floor. Let, uh, if it is on the bed, let the patient lie in on the comfortable position. So it would be easy to take the blood pressure. Ask for the blood previous blood pressure. Level felt. Uh, the report to the patient and let the doctor to tell or deny Okay. So, where is the additional 30 there? So, when taking blood pressure, you have to add 30. Where is that 30? Okay. the stethoscope. So a stethoscope is used for taking the location of the pulse okay, in the brachial. So once we check the stethoscope before using it, you have to keep your stethoscope always like this, if not used. I don't want your stethoscope hanging around your neck. Okay? So keep it always in your, hang it on your neck, and keep it on your pockets, either here or here, okay? So you should not be walking around and dangling your stethoscope like this. So check your stethoscope whether it is working. You come along with me. Tap it gently. If it is working. Okay? Tap it gently. Your stethoscope is still in plastic. That means to say it's still very warm. Okay? So tap it. Check if it is working. Put it down in your pocket. Now, how to check the cup? So... Keep your cuff inserted inside of this steel. So this is the blood pressure cuff. Blood pressure cuff has an appropriate size. This size is for adult. Adult. Okay? So there is a size for a bigger one, for a huge person. It will be wider and longer. So also we have a small for the newborn. The baby who just born, they will have at least one inch 
and at least one foot rule. For the pediatrics, it will be half of this and a little bigger. Okay? So we have appropriate blood pressure cuff. This is the cuff. This is the wire. The gauge. Make sure your gauge is always down to zero. Okay? This is your bulb. Here is your inflatable ring. Going up is closing. Going down is deflating. Inflate means going to keep this one high. Or there will be an air inside. Okay? Hold our BP cuff tightly. So to know, we will check whether it is working or no. So in this case, we will know if your medical equipment is okay to use. Okay? So with the gauge, hold the gauge. Keep this one. Hold it tight. Inflate. Up. Keep it up. Only in the time that you can release it softly. Okay? So we are there. Now let us pump it. And we will see that the gauge, the pointer is going high. Okay? So let's do it. Why I heard there is something means to say there is air. It's not close. Closing is to put it high. Upper. Okay? If you will hear the leakage of the air means to say it's not going to work well. So why there is something like that? Your gauge is going in? Is your gauge... Huh? Uh -oh. Where is your... Where is your stethoscope hanging? Okay. Your stethoscope. It's working. It's not working. to remove. Now, so close it, okay, enough to hold it. Look here. Use your two fingers. Keep it to the side. You go with the line. You have the crease. Okay? So above that crease, put your two finger sideways. Okay? So now you will find that your cup is in proper place. Okay? Once you are in a proper place, insert these two fingers inside. So you will know you have the space. Okay? To pump it. It is not too loose. It is no, not too tight. Okay? You got it? Okay. Now, straighten the hand of the patient. You should not keep it bended like this. It should be flexed. Okay? 
Get your stethoscope. You ask first the patient, how was your last BP? Ano? Alam mo? So, hindi mo alam. It was normal. Okay. As we said, if the patient doesn't know, go with 120 over 80 at how much? 30. 30. So, it will be 150. But it depends on how much the patient will tell you at 30. Okay? So, you said you don't know, so we will go with 150. So, take your stethoscope. Palpate the brachial pulse. Brachial pulse should always be upper on the bone or in the middle or on the side. Okay? Here to the bone or in the middle or this. Either of this you will find. So aim your diaphragm. Go in with your left hand, put your thumb, the pad of your thumb above or on top of, on top of our bell. Without the bell, right? At the back of diaphragm. Clasp your hands. Clasp the arm. Okay, you are there? Okay, so we are going to put this gauge on top where you can see it direct to you. Okay? So once you pump, you have to close this. Close this in a gentle manner that you can open gently. So we will inflate it. Close. Pump. You have to pump this, and you try to reach the, the, that particular uh, number that you want to rise up, okay? Then once you're there, is slowly release it. Slow, gently, but continuous. I don't want that the gauge will be like, okay? Just go continuously, gently, and slowly. The first loud sound, that will be your systole. The last one, diminishing sound, like to the last, that will be 60, 70, or, or 60, so that will be our systole. Okay? Got it? Okay, so let's go together, pump it according to your patient blood pressure. Okay, on the first time, second time, double check. Repeat. The same procedure. One twenty over ninety. Okay, I just told her, but you should not. Okay, on the first, do it, and then go back to another time, double check. Yes. Uh oh. Still. Huh? How much? One fifteen. One fifteen. One five. Yes. One fifteen. One one five. One one five over seventeen. Okay. Who did not get? Who did not get? Okay. So. Okay. So 